Hi, this is my first YouTube video, and I'm pretty excited. I have been looming for a few months now, um, and I decided that I should share my creations with you. So, today I'm going to show you how to make this super cool starburst. I have a whole ton. I'm going to be making it just like this one. So, let's get started. I don't know how many rubber bands you will need, but you'll need a good amount. Like, this one isn't a bunch, but yeah. So, starting with the arrow pointing away from you, grabbing your first rubber band, which will be this outside part. In my case, it'll be black. Um, so... Put it right here. Go diagonal to the left. Put it right there again and go diagonal to the right. And then you're going to start with the left side. Put it up one, up. And I'm going to turn this sideways so you can see better. Let's zoom in. And then keep going down the whole entire loom until you reach the end. Okay, you should have stopped right here one before and then what you do is put it there and go in to the right. Now going back to the beginning you're going to grab one rubber band and go down one and then you're going to be doing the exact same thing by going down the whole entire loom. Doing the exact same thing you did with the left. Stopping one before the end again, put it right here and concave in. Then push everything down because there will be more bands on them. Okay, now grabbing your first color, which will be these stars, I'm going to be doing red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple, the rainbow. So, get one color, and then, let me go like this, so you can see it better. You're going to put it right there, two down the center row. And then going to the right, grabbing another rubber band, putting it in the center and coming down. And then you're going to go from there to there. And then you're going to go from there to there. And then your last, wait, not your last yet, go from there to there. And then this is your last rubber band. You're going to go from there to there. And push them all down because you're going to need the room. Now grabbing another rubber band of a different color. You don't want to, you can do two colors, but it looks best if the stars aren't just one color this whole time. So going to the second one, not this first one, the second. You're going to put it there and go to the right. Go oops, like that, like that, like whoops, like that. Then grabbing one more rubber band, you're going to go forward. This is the last time I will be showing you, and then I'm going to skip ahead. So, get one rubber band, skipping that one that you ended with the orange, go to that one, up to the right, and then, my band's twisted, okay, and then go down, and then, whoops, <laughs> go from those two, there to there, and then you're going to want to keep pushing these down, because there will be six rubber bands on it, and then you have to do one more thing later to it. So right now you should have three. I'm going to do the rest 
of there should be three more so you should have six total stars and I will be back in a second and then you're going to do your last rubber band going from there to there I know these look black it's actually neon purple like that's neon purple not black um, so now getting whatever color rubber band you want um, you can do the color that you're going to do the extension so mine's going to be black fold it into a figure eight like that and then fold it on top of each other so it forms two loops and then put it on that last one right there I have no idea what just happened why it just like flew off and then you're going to still need more rubber bands. That isn't the end. Okay, so now you can do whatever color you want again. I'm going to be doing the color that is there. So grabbing a purple rubber band or whatever color you did your star, whatever color you're using. I'm doing what the color I did the star. Fold it in a figure eight. Loop it over each other. And then put it right there in the center of those six rubber bands. Now getting a blue, figure eight, fold it over, and do that. Now do that the whole entire way. I will be back in a second. You are going to stop right here with your last star. Push those down and get your hook. Um, go to the end, putting it so the arrow is now pointing towards you. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Now, going inside, it's really blurry. Okay, there. Going inside of that capping band, you're going to pull that back, grab the top rubber band, and it should go forward. Now, grab going inside that circle like this one right here you're going to pull back the cat band you placed a second ago grab the top one and hook it where it goes and then grab the top one hook it where it goes grab the top one and it should go forward the top one and then this one should be super easy you just have to grab it and go like that so this is what it should look like your first star now go right here, grab the top one, and pull it forward. And then pull back the cat band, grab that, and go, put it where it goes. I'm going to show you this star, one more star, and then I'm going to um, skip ahead. Okay, and then grab the last one and put it where it goes, if I don't go there. Grab that top one pull it forward and you're going to make sure need to make sure it forms a teardrop grab the top one hook it right there go right there and you're the, you're going to do that the whole entire time just grab the top one and put it where it goes so I just did my third star and I will be back in a second now that you have hooked them all, it should look like this. Now going back to the beginning, right here where your last star is. And then push these down actually real quick. Because it makes it easier whenever you're hooking them and then putting the rubber band back on. It makes it ten times easier. So now going to the beginning. Pull back the cap band, if I can pull it back. Grab the top rubber band. And hook it to the left. Grab the top rubber band, hook it to the right. Starting with this left side right here, you're going, you can go like this if you would like and grab that and pull it out of the way and then pull back all these bands. But you're just pulling back all of those, grabbing the bottom one, and then looping it forward. So pull those back, grab the bottom one, hook it forward, 
pull it back, grab the bottom one, hook it forward, pull it back, grab the bottom one, hook it forward. Do that down the whole entire loom. I will be back in a second. Right here, you're just going to pull back all those rubber bands, grab your bottom color, and then you're going to loop it in right here, diagonally in. Now, going back to the beginning, you already looped the one from here to here, so you can grab that, or you can even go like that if you would like, and pull it back one. Pull those back and do all that, but I just like to hold it. Pull back all those rubber bands, grab the top one, loop it forward. So you're just doing the exact same thing you did last time, pulling back those rubber bands, and then looping it forward. So it's really simple, and yeah, I'll be back in a second. Now, right here, you're going to pull back all those rubber bands, grab the bottom one, and then you're going to hook it right there, diagonal. Now, you don't have to push it down because you're taking it off the loom. Um, I don't know why people sometimes do that. So, go right here where you just hooked those rubber bands. Grabbing the color you're going to make your extension, which is this. I'm doing black. Put your hook like this. Put it inside, push those back, and have your hook coming out like that. Put your rubber band like that. And then pull your hook back up. And go like that. Then put them down to the fattest part of your hook so they don't fall off. Now you can take off your um, bracelet. Be pretty gentle. You don't want it to break in the middle of it. If it did, that would be a huge bummer. And nobody wants that. <laughs> so, I just about got it. This is what it should look like now that it's done. Although this is neon purple, like I said. That's what it should look like. Now you can bring this down right here. You can do the extension on the loom, but I'm going to do it on the hook. So I need six rubber bands. And my wrist is very small, so grab however many you need. Um, doesn't really matter. So not counting this one, I'm going to do three. So put it in the archway part of your hook. Pull it off like that. So that's one time. Like that again. Two. And three. So that's what it should look like, depending how many times you did it. So now grab your clip, an S or C clip. I'm going to be doing an S. Get one end of it and put it through and then you can take it off so right now you should have one half of your extension now going right there to where that cat band is put your hook through it grab a rubber band put it through and you're just going to do the same thing pulling it off and doing that and one more for me So now it should be good. And then pulling your clip over, put those through the clip. So this is, oops, I forgot. Make sure both of those get in there. So this is what your, your bracelet should look like. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you. Have a nice day and happy looming.